Hello friends, myself R.D. Mahajan presenting my one more video on uh, inverse Laplace transform by convolution method. Example, find inverse Laplace of 1 upon s plus a into 1 upon s square plus b square obtained by a convolution method or theorem. Uh, we have the inverse of these two terms. The inverse of the first term 1 upon s plus a standard result e raised to minus a t we call this as f of t and inverse Laplace of second term 1 upon s square plus b square again by standard result 1 by a here it is b sine of b t and we call this as g of t c and then as here it is product of two terms of S by convolution theorem inverse Laplace of 1 upon S plus A into 1 upon S square plus B square as integral from 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u and its integration with respect to u and then substituting the values we get integration from 0 to t f of u replace t by u here we get e raised to minus a u into g of t minus u replacing t by t minus u we get 1 by b sine of b times t minus u du 1 by b is constant term we take outside integration from 0 to t uh, remaining terms are e raised to minus a u into sin of uh, multiplying it inside we get b t minus b u and then its integration with respect to u uh, comparing this result with the standard result of integration e raised to x sine of bx plus c as we get the value of a as minus a and value of b as uh, inverse of this given problem is suppose f of t therefore on left hand side we have that f of t and it is equals to 1 by b Uh, applying standard result integration of e raised to x sin bx plus c as e raised to x means e raised to minus a u divided by a square plus b square minus a square is a square plus minus b square is b square a sin bx uh, minus a sin of bt minus bu and then minus and this minus it become plus b cos of bt minus bu and limit from 0 to t that be substituting the upper limit for u as t here we get e raised to minus a t divided by a square plus b square multiplied by uh, when u is t sin bt minus bt it becomes sin 0 and the value of sin 0 is 0 first term becomes 0 uh, bt minus bt it becomes cos of 0 and cos 0 is 1 and therefore we get b then minus uh, u is 0, e raised to 0 we get 1 upon a square plus b square u is 0 therefore that remaining term is minus a sin bt and u is 0 this term becomes 0 remaining term is b cos of bt plus b cos of bt
okay and therefore from these two term i can take 1 upon a square plus b square common therefore it is 1 by b into a square plus b square uh, remaining terms as <coughs> b into e raised to minus a t minus minus it become plus a sin b t and this is minus b cos of b t as a required answer if you like my video please share it as well as subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribe it please subscribe it and to receive the notification for my such type of new videos please press the bell icon thank you thanks for watching